Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Khadija, and I'm the CEO of Hawker, which is a startup uh, developing an electric vehicle for people with reduced mobility. As you can see, I'm a woman, and I'm a person with reduced mobility since I was 10 years old. And being in a wheelchair, I always had difficulties to move long distances every day. And that's what led me to start Hawker. Okay, today we are talking a lot about uh, women in this event, but I wanted to tell you something that today is also the International Day of People with Disability. So that's important also to say it. Um, before starting talking about Hawker and about myself, I want to uh, bring you back in 1994 when I was three years old and I had a cervical dorsal tumor. I'm from Tunisia, by the way. And in my country at this time, they weren't able to cure me. And I was like paralyzed. My health started to really be bad. And the doctors back in time told to my mother, forget about her and have other children. But my mother didn't accept this idea. And she took me from the, from the country to another place. And she really fought so that, that I can be uh, cured. And uh, thanks to the strength and the perseverance that she had, I'm today with you. And I'm the person I am today. Please go next. I will tell you a little bit more about myself. I studied, my background basically is in food industry in processes. And since I was in university, I was very active in the associative domain. And I even uh, started uh, founding an uh, entrepreneurial, um, junior entrepreneurial uh, association in my university because I wanted to spread everything and to share everything I learned in the associative world to the student uh, and uh, bring to them uh, the entrepreneurial spirit and how they can start projects, etc., and be active in life. I then uh, now working on how far in the automotive field since I, uh, I started. Uh, and I'm also monitoring few startups uh, with few organizations like STEMI Makers Africa and the Founder Institute in Tunisia. And in 2020, I was also selected and recognized by the Meaningful Business uh, 100 among outstanding, outstanding leaders across the world, combining profit and purpose to help achieve the UN Sustainable uh, development goals. Let's go to Hawker now, next. Uh, I started Hawker back in 2016 with my co-founder and CTO, and we incorporated in 2018. And uh, since we started the long journey, we saw the need. OK, I was aware that I am not the only one having a problem with disability and having a problem to move long distances everywhere. But since we started the journey with How Car, uh, I really saw the huge amount of that need. Uh, what, with my co-founder and the studies we have done, we have seen that uh, there is not really enough uh, solutions that can help these people. For for example, for myself, I always need someone to bring me to the, uh, to the place I want to go, to go to study, in school, the university. I always needed my family to bring me uh, and, uh, any time, at any time I needed. And if they are not available, I needed to take a taxi. And I will let you imagine how it is to take a taxi when you are in a wheelchair and by yourself despite the fact that you need to move from the wheelchair to the seat to be in, the, in this taxi. So this is one of the 
issues. And for the much, most rich people, you will just need to have a very expensive car in which it costs you the price of the car plus the adaptations that are added to it. And it is become really very expensive. And all the solutions, these solutions exist only in few uh, countries like in Europe on, or in the US. And it is very hard to have them, especially if you are in the MENA region. I honestly tried to have one of these cards and you need to pay in currency, which is forbidden, like for us in our country, and you need to give a deposit. So the price will become really, really big and you can't have it in your country because there is a lot of uh, legislation that you, you need to go through. So then I started with my co-founder, Hauka. Uh, please now go next. Let's go back to the huge amount of people, the study that we have seen. According to the World Bank, it says that there is one billion people that are disabled in the whole world. And if we take one example, let's see Africa. In Africa, for example, 10% of the population are disabled, of which 4% are people with physical disability aged from 15 years old to 64. And that represents more than 26 million people. So that's one of the examples. Go next, please. According to the annual report of the global disability, disability economy, the global disability market comprises approximately 1.27 approximately billion consumers. So that's almost one in five people worldwide. So this is a huge number. And we have seen that Hauka can bring really a, an important solution to a problem that is, uh, that is existing everywhere in the world. Go next, please. So at Hauka, we are working on a smart electric vehicle for people with reduced mobility that is directly accessible in a wheelchair, more secure than an electric scooter, and adapted to different physical disabilities. Next one. And in Hauka, we, have, we want to improve life of people with reduced mobility and make a difference. So we are not just offering a normal car that is for people with disability, but we have more than that. We want to bring mobility for everyone in the world. So of course, one of the goals is to bring the standard and adapted vehicle for people with disability according to the need of the person. But also our standard chassis of the vehicle that is modular, that can be assembled in one hour. It's like IKEA for cars. We want to put it in open source. So anyone can have the car he wants. And if he needs our help to customize it or to subcontract it, we are here for that. So we wanted to make like, not bring a car and adapt it for disabled people, but do the opposite. Take a, a a car that is for people with disability and that you can convert to any other kind of car that you want. And of course, one of the targets we want is to integrate people with disability, not only in everyday life, as they want to be uh, included in the society and in the world, but also we want to recruit them with us, with us to work with us in the start. Next, please. These are some of the awards we had. We ca you can, of course, see the others in our website. So one of the uh, recent uh, award we had, it was last month, we, was rec uh, we received the Energy Globe Award uh, for the 2021 edition uh, the in, for, uh, for Austria. And 
We have been also recognized as most innovative eco-friendly car in North Africa. In 2019, we had the chance to go to the Global Entrepreneurship Summit and be on the panel and talk with NASA. We have been presented by the CFO of NASA and we have been able to showcase how car on stage. Uh, and in 2019, we have also the chance to uh, go on an innovative tour in the Silicon Valley where we met many companies like Silicon Valley, uh, like Google, <laughs> Google and uh, Tesla, etc. Go next, please. And in the tour we had, I, I had in the, in the Silicon Valley, I saw this on the wall on one of the co-working space there. And I took a picture of it. And I thought to my, told to myself, look, there are signatures of the main founders in Silicon Valley. But none of them, there is no women. Not any women in the picture. So I think that may, and I hope really that maybe in the future, we will see at least one woman in this picture. Go next, please. So during the journey with Haukar, I learned a lot. Learned a lot about uh, entrepreneurship, about automotive field, but because it's not my main background. And I learned a lot personally as I learned how to take care of myself and how to be able to do things by myself and rely on myself, be autonomous, etc. And this is my me, by the way, diving. So it's not just a picture from Google. <laughs> so this is me. And really, I believe that disability is a matter of perception. And if you can do just one thing well, you are needed by someone. Few advices I want to give to any woman that want to start anything, uh, not only like for for creating a startup or a project, but if you want to start anything in your life that is important. I learned to don't, don't take myself too seriously when I work on something, because if you take yourself too seriously, you are afraid to fail. And it's very, very important to fail if you want to learn and go forward. So you need to fail a lot. So don't take yourself seriously. So you don't be afraid to, to go ahead. It's very, very important. So this is one of the most uh, important advice I will give. Okay, uh, go next, please. So I think that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, let's open.